Hi, in this video, a little bonus video for some, uh, due to popular request I'm showing you how I did the aluminium brazing on the rudder pedals with a bit of scrap. I'm going to have a little test of it, see how it goes. So, let's get cracking. So here we have a piece of uh, L section 6082T6 and uh, I've got the, the brazing rod bit here and what I've done is I've just cut uh, a triangle out and just bent this over and we've got a gap there I suppose slightly under a millimetre um, I didn't drill it the same way as I did on the uh, on my pedals but uh, probably be better to drill it I don't know how, how effective it is but what we're going to do is I'm going to now heat this up I'll have two blow blow torches on one to keep the general thing warm and one to do the uh, the bit there and then uh, I'll flow in this uh, aluminium brazing rod this is uh, made by Meta Brazo uh, Advance so uh, I'll put a link in the uh, in the description this is the AL002 and it's good for the 5000 and 6000 uh, grade aluminium so this will be okay for 6061 um, 6082 yeah, the sort of standard aircraft grade but as a, I wouldn't use it as a structural uh, thing yeah, I wouldn't be trying to weld bits of, uh, of this aircraft together uh, the, the, the primary or even secondary structure okay I'll uh, I'll get started okay so I've got I've got the uh, blow lamp there just heating up the, uh, the, the basic aluminium we use this one to get get everything uh, really really going the melting point of uh, of this braze is about it's just under 400 degrees centigrade so uh, we'll get a fair chunk of heat into it and of course both sides of the joint need to be hot otherwise it won't flow and stick properly to, to both sides so we've got to get the heat into both sides same with any sort of, sort of solder or brazing technique you've got to make sure that it's across both surfaces and I found the best system for me is just to get, get a little bit of this uh, stuck on there to start off with and then get it to a temperature and see it flow and then uh, add the, the, the remaining stick into it it's already got the plugs in it As you can see, uh, once you've got the heat on both sides, it flows right into into the joint there. So uh, that is uh, effectively done. I'm just going to go and quench that, and then uh, we'll, I'll show you how strong it is. So uh, there's a, there's a sort of finish. You could now file that flat. You can sort of see that it's flowed right the way through to the other side here. So that's good. I'm just going to stick this in the vise and uh, see how well it stands up to uh, being bent straight. I 
I think that I think that sort of shows you it's quite strong the joint hasn't gone it's that's that's bent uh, elsewhere of course that has been effectively annealed so uh, there's a slight sh showing of, a, of cracking in in that brace but there we go worthwhile for uh, you know, some components maybe where they're not critical or uh, for your home DIY project thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up you can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can remember go fly and feel the sky